Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing for you today the IATI Easy Smart Tap 2. What this is, it's a tablet holder for your vehicle or indeed even for your home. So let's open it up and see what you get. Well, first things first, they just tell you a little bit here on the top about it, about the size, how big the uh, tablet it can hold. Gives you a little bit of more information on the back. There is some assembly required, but it's really easy. Alrighty. It's so easy. This is it for the instructions. This one little sheet of paper, and it just gives you some illustrations, really. It's simple to put together. And then they even tell you about the dashboard disk. I'll get to that in a moment. So this is it. This is your suction cup holder. This is your extension arm. This is the actual holder itself. We'll get to that in a moment. That's basically a little rubber bumper. And this is the dashboard disk. Now if your dashboard has a lot of textures to it, and normal suction cup mounts won't really stick to it. You just peel off the backing here with the 3M adhesive, stick it on there, on your dashboard, then you attach this to the disc. There you go. Nice that they include this. To assemble it, it's very simple. You just basically unscrew this. Don't worry, this is in here pretty good. The bolt ain't coming out. And these have little ridges on them or little teeth. So don't try to force it too much because then you know you might uh, ruin those teeth on there. Just something to look through there. Make sure the hole is lined up. Push it all the way through. Tighten that down. And if you see here, there's three little nibs. On the back of the mount, there's three little holes. Just put it in there, slide it up till you hear that little click, and you're ready to go. And on the bottom, you just simply peel this off. And this is very, very sticky. I mean, watch. So not only is it a suction cup, but there's like a sticky gel on here. And you can see how strong that sticky gel is. And of course, once this gets dirty, like I just did, I'm just going to rinse it with water, let it air dry, put that protective cover back on, and you're ready to go. Now, this is a 180 degree mount. So once you push it, in, oh, once you get it set down, you press this lever down so you can have it however you want that in that direction and then you just simply when you have it in the right position tighten that down this bar here actually extends so you unscrew that knob and you get about what two and a half extra inches out of it this part here does rotate 360 degrees side to side it's a nice little ball joint right there so you can easily get that in any position you want now you just simply open it up like that. Once you put your tablet in, it's going to hit this little button here. If you see this little raised button. And it clamps down into place. What this little rubber bumper is for is, say you got it hanging like this from off your windshield. Your windshield's here and you're having it hanging down. You can put this maybe on the arm here so it doesn't bump up against your window. Or you put it on this part of the arm so it doesn't bump up against the dashboard. Or if you want, you can put it in between there. That's really what this is for. This is a shock absorber to help stabilize this when your tablet is in there. Now, it can hold tablets with a width of 4.5 inches to 7.5 inches. Or 11.43 centimeters to 19.05 centimeters. Here is my Nexus 7 2013 edition. 
just going to open it up. Yes, it's in a case. There you go. It's in there. And I'll even flip it around for you. Ooh, I should have cleaned off the fingerprints, shouldn't I have? And it'll still clamp in there. And like I said, with this knob here, you can twist this any way you'd like. Now uh, I'm going to quickly put it in my car or in my Jeep and show you how stable this is. I'm going to drive around a little bit, give you a good demo.